Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is just not on building tutorials and things like that. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to download texture packs and try it out in a Minecraft world or world that you have already created just to see how it looks like. So the first thing is we're going to do is we're going to exit as we're going to close a Minecraft Education Edition. We're going to head over to Google or any search engine and actually and actually type out in the search John Smith Legacy 1.17. Now you got uh, now you got yourself two links. One is the John Smith Legacy uk, which actually includes all of the resource packs. It also includes the texture pack as well. Whereas you also have this one, but it actually has the same link that will lead you to this one. So you're gonna go to the real one here. This one actually can lead you to the same one. Only thing is, it's a little bit different. So the page is the the page is gonna look something like this. It's gonna look something like this. It has some info about what it is really talking about. And then over here on this side, if you just scroll all the way down, we also got ourselves some pictures on how it's gonna look like. You can also click on some images to see how it works. Here's some instructions on how to download them. And here are the download links. So it basically is the same thing. You just click on this one if you actually want to do it for Java edition. Or if you actually want it for Bedrock Edition, you can click on this one. But it will definitely lead to the same link. So it's going to show in just a minute. There you go. It actually shows the same thing. So it's basically just the same thing. So it's going to lead all the way down here. So you're actually at the top page. So actually at the top page. Sorry. You're going to scroll down at the, from all the way down to... These ones are all for Java Edition. And here it is, the Bedrock Edition. It's just right at the bottom, just below 1.0, which is the Adventure Update. So here it is, Micro Bedrock. And for all of the version history, it actually shows all the way down to that much, but that is only for Java Edition. I don't know why it also does not show for Bedrock Edition. Maybe it's because it was never there, I think. Maybe Java had it once, I'm not that sure. But you're gonna go to, or actually, I think it must be the version, probably. So anyway, you, you're just gonna go to, well, to actually this to this area. If you actually do not know what the version, what version is your micro game, you you actually know. Right at the bottom, it says v one point seventeen dot thirty one. That is the version history. That, that is the current version that your Minecraft game is, is on. And basically it is 2021 that actually had uh, been updated. So that's why it is at the new version. It's not 1.14, it's at 1.17. So we're gonna download a texture pack, the resource pack, which is at 1.17. So you're gonna download this one. It's a very, the, this is the latest one. You can try this one as well, but that is actually like way back. So it's, far away from that so just just you just gonna download this one and it will just take some time it will take some time there you go it's actually downloaded there we go we got ourselves the John Smith legacy bedrock 1.17.11 MC pack now we're just gonna click on that and here we go it appears on it Shows import started. There you go. It says it successfully imported John Smith Legacy Bedrock. Oh, it, it just disappeared the moment I read it. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, Alright, we're just going to go click play. View worlds. And let's actually try in a world that I have never actually tried one before. So we're going to try... Um, let's go try it in this one. It's a micro survival game which actually I actually made, and in that world I actually had like found some diamonds. So we're gonna see how it works. Oh yeah, and it actually has some deep state version. So if you haven't actually tried out the texture pack, it can also work for other texture packs. But make sure you oh oh wait hold on. 
Oh, I made a mistake. I should have just gone to resources instead of clicking play. Whoops, that's a mistake. It's supposed to work with it. So you're gonna go to settings. You go all the way down to resource specs. I have tons and tons of resource specs. Uh, this one is on the element animation villager sounds. Like if I walk on grass, it will say grass. It will if I walk on snow, it says snow. If you if you actually break a wood, it would uh, just very quickly it will say chop. But we're gonna go to this one here. This is the 1.17.11. Actually, has some some things like that, and when you click on that, it'll say activate. You click on activate, and now this one is with the global resources, which is actually basically the original texture pack for the Minecraft one. I've never uh, installed or actually put new texture packs in this one. Yeah, that's just text packs. There's, there's nothing to do anything with that. If you actually have installed a mod, which I pretty much must have had, um, but I think it's okay. Yeah, let's continue. Let's see how it goes. Now, if your friend, if your friends have never tried this resource pack, oh, well, you look at that. Wow, I've never seen this box before. It has a small little like experience bar, which is. Oh wow! It updates the back the the panorama background. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, I should have done for for a Minecraft creative world, but I did not do it. So, my bad. Now it's gonna take some time to reload to load the resources, cause not only it loads for the blocks, it will load for the mobs itself. Like change the textures for the mobs. That's why it's called a resource pack. And that's why when you download it, it appears as a start empty pack. You see that? That's how it actually appears. Just gonna wait for this to load. And I think we can actually take a look at one of these boxes which is actually around it. This is actually text for, uh, for skull, stone, I think this gravel, I think. Kelsite was actually the white stuff. And this is blocks. Also, I think it's uh, it's a dripstone, stalgamite. I keep on forgetting the words for it. I think it's this one. This one's stalgamite, and the one that's hanging at the at the top is a stal stalactite. Still need to work on spellings for that, cause I keep on pronouncing the words so bad, cause I don't know which one's which. So <laughs> yeah, a little bit crazy though. Oh, there you go. It's loading. I don't know why it has to... Oh! Oh my god! Dude, this is so cool! Look at my diamond pickaxe! Oh, it sort of whitens on the hot bar whenever I actually click on an item. Dude, my pickaxe looks so cool. Dude, this is so cool. Wait, is it update for my inventory? Oh wow! It's... This is so cool. Uh, let's check on the outside. Uh, I said update. Oh, it does. Oh my god! I can't even see the pig. Shield's blocking it. The shield is a. What the? Yeah, sometimes glitches happen due to this. But I can see the pig. Which is good. This must be llamas. Oh wow, instead of the nose, it's basically a human face on it. This is cool. So, so cool. Actually, I should have created a new world so that it doesn't take a long time for it to load. Look at that! It's the texture for the for the copper block. I've been mining lots of copper when I'm trying to find some diamonds. Yeah, I crafted. Uh, actually, this iron shovel sort of looks a little bit like bluish color than the iron one, which is 
Kind of weird. That's the cover block over there, and that's the lightning rod at the top. Oh, the moon looks so realistic. Gee, this is amazing. Gosh, I never actually tried this texture pack before. Look at the berries. This is so sweet. Still need to harvest though. I'm just gonna go on this. Uh, go on this way. Okay, so I think the pink rock is granite. As this one must be diorite. Okay, that's a caldron. Gulls of chest. Oh, redstone actually looks like this. And flint, it looks like a sharp shred. Pointed dripstone. Dripstone. Cobblestone. Okay, so deep slate is a little bit darker texture than that. But it looks exactly like the same thing. Yeah, maybe I was right. It looks exactly like it. <laughs> it looks like a cauldron. <laughs> I, I love this texture pack. It's so cool. So, so cool. Let's hop into the mines. Oh, you don't need to worry. Um, no hostile mobs. I switched off the hostile mobs for this one. So, yeah. You don't need to worry about anything. Torches look so cool. Actually, let's go and look at the village. It's free. If you do not know uh, what link does it actually do. You can actually go to uh, the link itself, or you could actually go to uh, uh, the link in the description it's below the video. I think it's a weathered, uh, it's, um, it's trying to oxidize copper. I think it's an oxidized copper block, or I don't think it is. Okay, it looks like I need to do some parkour. <gasps> Oh, it is oxidizing. What? That's a little weird texture for this one. When it's waxed. Uh, I don't know what to do. But I'll, I'll just leave it there. Yeah, I'll just leave it. I only just got the thing. Anyway, well, what was I doing? Yeah, let's head over and see how it looks like. The obsidian looks like coal blocks. Yeah, it just looks like coal blocks. It's so cool. See how it looks like. Oh, wow. Dude, this looks like reeds. Uh, uh, did they just despawn? I swear to god that they were actually llamas there. Yeah, they must have despawned. God dang it. I wanted to, um... Oh wow, these look so medieval. Hey, there's a guy over there! What is he doing in the middle of the night? Is he wandering around? Hello. Oh, your texture pack looks so cool. Let's see if you have any better trades. Uh, too late. I don't have any emeralds. So sorry. Man, you you look really good. You look good with that wheat thing coming out of your mouth, uh, and that hat of yours. Yeah, you, you look kind of cool. I don't think I see anything down there. I only see stalagmites which are appearing on underwater. There's a spike over there. There's other things like that. Oh, there is another llama over there. Maybe because there are actually more. Actually, let's go and see. Okay, you got the source of beetroot. The farmer's coming over to clean it up. The uh, baby guy is actually like enjoying. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm disturbing your work. I'm totally sorry. Uh, you can continue. You can continue. Uh, 
Actually, there's a new block I've never seen before. It's a com it's a composter, but it actually looks more like a jukebox, right? Like looks like a texture for the jukebox. Cats look a little cute. Cows. Mr. Cow. Yeah, you look like a real cow, actually. Oh, your eyes look so creepy when you actually are a cow. Yikes. That's a little bit creepy. Okay, we actually saw a fisherman. Barrels and things. Yeah, the texture bag looks cool. Texture bag looks cool. So, that's a tutorial on... So yeah, that's a tutorial on how to install texture packs, or in other words, resource packs. Now, that's only for Education Edition. If you do not, if you're not sure for Java Edition, there are basically the uh, um things for that. Now, the thing is, you see, the background has now changed to the to the normal texture. That's because when you go to a world which already has a texture pack, it will change the background. But if it does not have the resource pack or the texture pack, then it will never change for the panorama. Now, um, you can try for the nether because I actually have not, I've not checked for the nether, but it's gonna look really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I hope for you for the best. Thanks so much for watching this video. And it's me, Sparrow Bright. Now, you might be wondering, what skin am I wearing? What skin am I wearing? Of course. It's on the Songs of War. Um, I I made this myself. <laughs> I I got it on Minecraft skins, and it was basically the Ardoni skin, blank thing. And then I just used it with one color. I made the pattern myself. Look at that. It has a spider symbol on it. it has a spider symbol at the back. At the back. And the white eyes. It it, it looks kind of epic. It looks kind of epic. You guys love Songs of War. I made a skin for you guys. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you now know how to download resource packs and texture packs. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. And don't forget to be the awesome Harold Bryan.